All right, in lesson two, part one, we talked about how to use a G71 CAN cycle to do OD roughing on the CNC lathe. Now we learned how to go from small to large, and that's probably where the G71 CAN cycle is commonly used. But I've had several of you ask, can you use a G71 CAN cycle for undercuts or cutting pockets, meaning can you go from large to small? And the answer to that is yes and no. Uh, apparently you can use that G71 CAN cycle on type 2 controls for cutting pockets. I'm not sure exactly what the difference is between a type 1 and a type 2. Uh, the more recent or the more high-end controls are capable. It is an option inside the FANUC control, but I do know that a type 1 will not and a type 2 will. So let's see what the differences are in the format of the G71 CAN cycle to allow pocket roughing. All right, so for this example, I've drawn up just a simple shape. You can see we're starting at a 1 inch 800 right here on the right, and we're going to reduce the diameter down to 1 inch 200. And exactly what you see here is what the machine will do with the G71 CAN cycle. We're taking 100,000 step to cut, and we're going to leave 30,000 on X and 20,000 on Z. Now, I wrote the program with a sharp corner. So all these dimensions that you see here will be used in your toolpath without having to compensate for a tool nose radius. So let's take a look at the program. All right, so at the top of the program, we're going to start with program number one, and we're going to be turning pockets. We're going to wrap it in the x-axis home, and then we're going to make a tool change and call it tool 0101, and turn on the spindle with a G97S1000. M3 clockwise rotation. Then we're going to wrap it to G54, 100 thousandths in the front of the part, and to X2.5. That is the diameter of our stock. So you can see that's where the tool is positioned, and that is where it's going to start into the G71 CAN cycle. All right, the next line we have a G50 that's going to limit our RPM to a speed of 2000 and then we're going to activate constant service speed with a G96 S600. Alright the very first line of the G71 CAN cycle we have a U.1 so that is the depth per pass 100 thousandths and we retract 50 thousandths at the end of each pass. Second G71 line starts with the P10 and the Q11. The P10 refers to the N10 and the Q11, the N11, right here in the geometry section of the CAN cycle. We're going to leave 30 thousandths on the X axis and 20 thousandths on the Z axis. And we're going to use a feed rate of 12 thousandths per revolution. All right, so the N10 line is probably the most important of the G71 can cycle where we're turning pockets. Normally we do a G0 rapid, a G42 which activates our cutter comp, and then we have our smallest X value. That's what we've learned in our standard G71 can cycle. But in this case, to make this work for pocketing, you have to have a Z value on this same line. And the Z.1 is where we have positioned our tool at the top of the program and so that is the Z.1 necessary on that line. Now the rest of the geometry is just as you see it dimensioned right here. We're going to feed the Z minus 450 so that's the end of this little straight section. Then we have the taper down to X 1 inch 200 Z minus 1 inch 1. Then we have a straight section to the start of the radius to Z minus 2 inches 1. We do a G2 or a clockwise arc to X 2.2 Z minus 2 inches 6 at a radius of half inch. Then the N11 we feed out to our start diameter which is equal to the diameter that we started or that we positioned our tool at at the beginning of the program. And of course we have the G42 cancel cutter comp. Then we're going to wrap it back to Z.1. Home out the x-axis and turn off the spindle, turn off the coolant, 
and the M30 is the end of the program. Alright, so there's only a slight difference between the G71 format learned in lesson 2 and this one here used for turning pockets. Alright, I'm going to leave a copy of the code in the description field and so feel free to use that in your machine. Now be very careful, I'm not responsible for any mishaps and uh, if you have any questions please leave a comment. I hope this helped you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.